This is an example of the method of initial rates. You can typically recognize this type of problem because we're going to give us a table with a bunch of initial concentrations and the corresponding rates. So what we're imagining is we're running this reaction several times with different concentrations and then seeing how the rate changes. Now I'm going to break this problem or this video up into three parts to make each one a little bit shorter. In the first one we're going to determine the rate law. So the rate law has the form rate is equal to k the rate constant times a raised to some power and b raised to some power. And so the thing that we have to solve for is these reaction orders. We have to find n and m. And we'll do that in two steps. We'll do each one individually. So in order to find the order with respect to the reactant A, I've got to pick two trials where A is changing but B is staying the same. So I think trials 1 and 2 make good choices because A, the concentration is obviously changing, and for B, the concentration is staying the same. So the way we find the orders is we're going to write the rate of trial 2 divided by the rate of trial 1 is equal to the concentration of A in trial 2 divided by the concentration of A in trial 1 and that's going to be raised to the order that we're trying to find. So if I plug in my values for the rates and the concentrations and then divide those numbers out. 45 divided by 5 is going to be 9 and 0.3 divided by 0.1 is going to be 3 and so the question is 3 raised to what power is equal to 9? So we know that 3 raised to 2 is equal to 9 that means n is equal to 2. So I work on the right hand side here for reactant B now I need to find two trials where B is changing but where A is staying the same. Now if we look at trials 2 and 3, that satisfies the criteria that B is changing, but we can see A is also changing, and so those don't do us any good. But I like trials 2 and 4 because B is changing, but in this case A is staying the same, so I can use those two. So I can do the same thing, only now I have rate 4, over rate 2 is equal to the concentration of B in trial 4 of the concentration of B in trial 2 raised to its order. So now I'll plug in my values again. Alright, and I'll divide these out, and I get 2 is equal to 2 to the n. So, in this case, m must be equal to 1. So let me scroll down a little bit to write our answer. So the rate law for this question is the order of a was 2, the order of b was 1, so I can write that as rate is equal to k times a squared and b to the first power. And because b is to the first power, I don't have to write the 1 up there as the exponent. And so this is the answer to part a. This is the rate law for this reaction. To see the answers to part b and c, check the other two videos.